Now, eight lawmakers from the Jubilee Alliance and the Opposition Coalition for Reforms and Democracy Court are at this moment being charged over hate speech. Court members of Parliament Florence Mutua, Aisha Jumwa, Timothy Bosire, and uh, Jeanette Mohammed denied charges that they uttered statements bordering on hate speech during a news conference held at Capitol Hill Center on Tuesday. The court MPs represented by CIA Senator James Orengo, John Haminwa, and Okongo Omoge say the prosecution's claims that they will interfere with witnesses lacked merit. The prosecution led by Leonard Mangi is opposing bail application saying it was concerned that the eight would repeat the same offenses they're charged with if the court granted them bail. The court has meanwhile ordered that Bahati member of parliament Kimani Ngujiri seek urgent medical attention after his condition deteriorated during the hearing. Here is part of that hearing tell you that they intend to abscond, then that must also be proved. Not by only saying, but by showing facts. Has he bought a ticket? Has he prepared to travel? Has he made accommodation elsewhere? Those are the facts that they need to put before you. Not imagination, because this court today is not a court of imagination, but a court of facts. This is the law of the land insofar as uh, the questions before the court I'm not give, put placing before you new evidence. This is a matter of law, and the prosecutor should be at the forefront of ensuring that the court can access everything in order to make sure that justice is administered. His duty is not to make sure that these people are convicted. His duty is that every piece of evidence, including Advanced evidence is placed before the court. The most crucial factor, the most crucial factor in determining whether or not the accused ought to be released on bail is whether or not the accused will come before the court. The primary factor, the most crucial uh, consideration. Well, our reporter, Timothy Utieno, was in court throughout the hearing. Let's now join him, uh, join him via phone to get updates on what really happened. Thank you very much, Timothy, for joining us on News Desk. Uh, kindly just uh, break it down for us on some of the arguments that were put forward by the prosecution and the defense in court. Well, Akisa, uh, the, the, uh, the defense, as you have heard, arguing a case uh, that... Uh, the aid should not be denied bail based on the fact that they may not appear uh, when summoned by the court uh, if a hearing indeed does take place. But of course, the defense insisting that indeed these are public figures and uh, it is well within uh, their mandate to appear if summoned before uh, the court. This is, however, being challenged uh, by the deputy director of public prosecutions, Leonard Maingi, who insists that uh, the eight uh, could, uh, if released, then they could uh, repeat the offenses, citing specific cases of uh, Ferdinand Waititu, as well as Gatundu South Member of Parliament, uh, Moses Kuria, who already are out on bail on a different charge uh, relating to insightful remarks made last year. So that is what the Director of Public Prosecution, the Deputy Director, was uh, arguing in his case, that if they are let out, chances of them repeating the same statements is probably high. And even right now, Akisa, the submissions are being made uh, for the defense lawyers of Moses Kuri, as well as Ferdinand Waititu, who have been presented their case. It's key to note that all of them have denied uh, the charges brought to, uh, before them, two counts each of hate speech and incitement. All eight of them have denied the charges. And it's interesting to highlight uh, that Johnson Mudama uh, was brought in court and has been remanded for the last four days over remarks believe that he may have made on the 26th of September last year during a court rally at Uhuru Park. Now, his lawyer, James Orengo, really questioning the intention of the DPP and the police in particular in holding Johnston Mudama over a charge uh, which is already before court, and Mudama indeed was taken to court over remarks believed to have been made uh, in regarding to uh, disrespect for the office of the presidency, and he was he's already out on bail of 100,000 Kenya shillings, and the police 
through the deputy director of public prosecutions quoted uh, a rally in which uh, Johnson Mudama allegedly made uh, defamatory remarks to the office of the presidency Orengo insisting that this is a perjury of justice and really questioning Mudama's state and why he may have been detained for the last four days even as the defense and the prosecution continue issuing their submissions of course uh, the chief magistrate uh, Daniel Ogembo is expected to issue out a directive whether they will remain in custody over the weekend whether they will be released on bail Akisa it's also key to highlight of course the heavy presence of security here at the Miniman in law courts we have been able when we were entering we were able to spot about four uh, water tankers water tankers surrounding uh, the mini money law courts a lot of administration police heavily uh, armed and uh, with all uh, that pertains to quelling any violence or any unrest that may arise after a directive has been issued by the court but of course it's a full fully packed court as you can imagine we have been able to spot all three court principals as well as senators of uh, various senators of kisumu and yang Nyong, as well as the senator for mombasa hassan omar akisa now timothy quickly um there's word that uh, the magistrate has ordered that bahati member of parliament uh, who is among the eight to just receive uh, some uh, medical attention what really happened yeah, this was a request uh, issued by Kimani Gunjiri earlier on this morning. Uh, during the morning session of the courts, uh, he had uh, expressed to the court through his lawyers that he was feeling unwell. He was actually temporarily taken out of the courtroom, but was later on uh, brought back uh, to court. But of course, his lawyer, uh, Cliff Ombetta, insisting uh, that uh, his health is not good and therefore he should be released on, that, on the basis of his health. Uh, John Kaminwa had highlighted that indeed the eight have been uh, detained under very primitive, according to his own words, primitive conditions and uh, uh, the state in which uh, they were being held was not uh, good. Of course, the court has directed that they will uh, issue a directive in regards especially to Kimani Ngunjiri's instance when they give their final uh, uh, directions after listening to all of the submissions. But as it stands, Kimani Ngunjiri indeed has uh, returned to the courts, but of course he has expressed that he is not feeling well.